Morning YouTubers. Just built myself a smoke generator. This is for my new engine, the uh, Class 25 um, 5 inch scale. Um, I'd like to see a little bit of smoke coming out as you're moving along. So I'll just switch it on, show you how it works. Issues working. I'll just run through the components. That switches off for now. There's a 3D printed box here containing the fluid and the element. There's a 3D printed chimney. Six volt pack battery, a twelve volt fan, uh, eleven point one battery, a switch, and connectors, and a little bit of soldering. Another connector over here, oh, and a, a switch for the for the fan. Uh, what I've done is um, it's a twelve volt fan but I'm only using 6 volt to drive it because I don't want it running too fast because it you can't see the, st the you can't see the smoke so if you run it slowly it just trickles out instead of absolutely gushing it um, so I've wired this up separately that's a separate complete uh, unit so because if you're having the battery uh, running both eventually one will drain the battery um, so the fan will probably stop working or completely just slow down or the elements won't get hot enough to give the smoke so if you've got two separate batteries it's, it's the best way of doing it um, these are these are only cheap cheap batteries uh, rechargeable batteries so they're not going to break the bank 3d printed stuff you can get a a Tupperware box, anything like that. I'll just run through the components that I've used inside. Well, that's inside the box. Uh, there's your smoke fluid. You can see it flopping a bit. The smoke fluid. Bit of silver paper in the bottom. Contains the heat. Um, this is you know what they put round fireplaces? Um, it's actually a fiberglass rope. Um, here's a here's, here's a bit of that's a piece I used. Piece off that. Uh, this is a smoke fluid. That's the smoke fluid I've used. I think it's uh, six ninety seven. I think it's seven ninety off. Uh, off the old eBay, uh, I think there's a litre there. So that's the other component I've used in these these clips here. These the connectors. There's a bit of brass, and that's them them there. So I've used two of those. Wrapped it round. Wrapped the wire around the rope, submerge it in the fluid and the, the wire I've used is from a, um, because you've got to use the correct wire, uh, at first I used some just a bit of ordinary wire and it didn't work. Um, it really got hot and it, you need a bit of heat resistance stuff. I don't know what it's called, I'm not a technician in, in wire. But this is out of an air dryer. Uh, found an old air dryer. Um, cut about six inches off. Tap it onto a 12 volt battery, and see if it glows. But if it if it takes too long to to start to glow, then you need to cut a little bit off, and then you just work it down. So as you as you tap it on, you also use pliers, two pair of pliers. Do not. Please do not hold the bare wire 
and tap it onto the battery terminals because it will burn a lot so please don't do that so cut pull about six inches of this off stretch it out stretch it right out so you get about six or seven inches test it on your battery then you know it's going to work on this battery when you wrap it round your um, fibre rope um, switches that's fairly straightforward uh, switching that switch battery mode fan that's easy enough um, the connection up of the battery for the smoker uh, you've got your switch you've got your switch there this is all mocked up so I mean there's all this is going to be I needed to get it working uh, obviously it's going to be all changed there won't be uh, won't be lumps of uh, glue all over the switch it's just a switch I found just to make sure it works so you've got that switching your positive your negative going in the other side connected up to the wire so you've got a continual loop and this is breaking the switch is breaking the loop as soon as you switch it on you connect the loop up and and your battery and that's about it there's not much more to it really uh, other than just don't burn yourself but it does work I'm really I'm really pleased with it it's uh, I'll run this again it's very simple to wire up switch the fan on there she goes, nice and slow, switch the smoker on, and she's smoking straight away. You heard a little bit of crackling and popping. I did submerge the two ends of the cable, the red and the black, into the fluid just to keep it cool so the element is warming up and obviously that's creating the smoke. It runs, it runs really well, as long as you don't let it go dry, because obviously your the cable will melt eventually. Uh, well, wire, I should say, will melt. You can buy elements, um, but I just thought I'd use the cheapest method first, see if it worked. But yeah, that's giving a giving a nice bit of smoke off. I'm really pleased with that. Yep, lovely jubbly. Anyway. I'll leave you there. So you've got one switch, two switches, one battery, one battery pack, one fan. Where's my chimney gone? I lost my chimney. Oh, it's just 3D printed chimney goes on there. And then your 3D printed box, and then your little bit of uh, you can't use. You've got to use some the material that doesn't burn. Um, the fibre rope is the one I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend anything else. Some people you do use different things, but I'm not going to recommend that. Mine has mine has been proved to work with the fibre rope, um, the six volt battery. 11.1 battery and obviously I tested it I tested the wire on the um, 12 volt battery so yeah that is all we got to do I've even got a little bit of a shade to go over there yeah okay then happy steaming see you later bye bye I did forget to um, put a diagram of the uh, fan and the smoker. Um, I hope you can understand that. That's the that's the fan switch, fan battery pack. This is the smoker. That's the fiberglass rope. The wire wrapped round it. Connectors both sides. Going to switch positive. Down to negative. Oh, that's uh, comprehensive. 
I've also a good bye now and happy smoking.